We covered how to leverage pandas to read and process time series data, but there is so much more you can do. In this section of the course, you will get your first taste of time series visualization in Python. Let's get started. In Python, matplotlib is an extensive package used to plot data. The library is built in a hierarchy, and most functions that can be used to add elements to your plots can be accessed via the matplotlib.pyplot module. As a result, it is common to see Python practitioners import matplotlib.pyplot using the alias plt. Matplotlib is the most widely used plotting library in Python. And fortunately for us, the authors of the pandas library have implemented a dot plot method on both series and data frames objects that work as a simple wrapper around the plt dot plot function in matplotlib therefore allowing for fast and simple plotting. In the case of time series data, if the index consists of dates, pandas will automatically call a separate function to format the x-axis nicely as shown in the figure here. Therefore, it is always recommended to set the dates of your time series as the index of your data frame using the dot set index method. Once you have finished defining the parameters of your figure, call plt.show to display the current figure that you're working on. The default style for matplotlib plots may not necessarily be your preferred style, but it is possible to change that. Because it would be time consuming to customize each plot or to create your own template, several matplotlib style templates have been made available to us. These can be invoked by using the plt.style.use command and will automatically add pre-specified defaults for fonts, lines and points, background colors, etc. to your plots. In this case, we opted to use the famous 538 style sheet. As you can see, the plot looks a lot better. If you are interested in looking at the list of available styles in matplotlib, you can use the plt.style.available command to display all options. As you can see, several well-known graphic styles such as 538, ggplot, and even the Financial Times are included in a default matplotlib installation. It is important to remember that your plots should always tell a story and communicate the relevant information. Therefore, it is crucial that each of your plots are carefully annotated with axis labels and legends. The dot plot method in pandas returns a matplotlib axis subplot object, and it is common practice to assign this return object to a variable called ax. Doing so allows you to include additional notations and specifications to your plots, such as axis labels and titles. In particular, you can use the dot set x label, dot set y label, and dot set title methods to specify the x and y axis labels and titles of your plot. In addition to labels, you can also tweak several other parameters. For example, the fixed size argument can be used to specify the length and height of your figure, which can be helpful for presentations or when you want to share your graphs with others. The line used to display the time series data can be modified by using the line width and line style arguments, which modify the width and style of the lines representing your time series data. Finally, you can also use the font size parameter to specify the font size of axis ticks, labels, and titles. Now let's try some examples.